Now we're going to do a quick overview of the Pro Tools interface. We're not going to go into any detail here. We're specifically going to look at where things are in the interface, not how to use them right now. On the top left hand corner, we have our various editing modes that we'll be using in Pro Tools. To the right of that, we have our zooming tools, which will help us navigate projects and get into and see the details of audio clips. To the right of that, we have numerous editing tools that we'll be using to help us edit the audio. To the right of that, we have a lot of numbers here that will show us the location of our playheads and cursors and what time and where we have things selected in our project. To the right of that, we have these options grid and nudge. We won't be using those for this class. To the right of that, we have our transport. These are buttons that play, stop, record, fast forward, rewind. We'll learn how to use these, but we'll predominantly be using a keyboard and mouse combination for this stuff. To the right of that are our main meters in the project. These display the overall volume of everything we're mixing in Pro Tools. To the right of that, we have our clip list. All of the audio that we import into our project will be displayed here. You don't have a lot of real estate to use on a small laptop screen. So if you ever feel like you need more room to work, you can close this clip window. If you go to the bottom left-hand corner of the clip window, you'll see a small arrow. And if I click on it, it will collapse the window and you'll have a little bit more room to work. You can always open the window again by clicking on that same arrow to redisplay the clip list. To the far left, we have a number of different tracks displayed. Tracks allow us to do things like change the volume of clips and their position in a stereo field. And tracks are an indispensable tool for organizing your project. Just to the right of the tracks, we have our main workspace. This is where we'll be able to see and work with all of the audio clips that we've imported into the project. Just above our workspace is the timeline. The timeline begins at zero and goes on however long we need it to, to compensate for the length of our project. Wherever I click my cursor on the timeline, you'll see that displayed right above in this window up here. All the way down at the bottom, we have a scroll bar. If I click and hold this bar and drag left or right, it will allow me to navigate up and down the timeline. This is just a basic anatomy of the Pro Tools interface. We'll go into greater detail for all of this in subsequent videos.